306 is a bad ride and we've always been impressed by the 427 cubic inch LS7. And this Z06 right here has already been modified with a full exhaust system, a cold air intake, a tune and a CompCam's LSR camshaft. So we can't complain about the power that she's making, although always at Power TV, we like a little bit more of everything. More acceleration, better engine response and of course, more torque. So that's why we've come to Lake Elsinore today to Cunningham Motorsports where we're going to test the brand new LSXR intake. First things first, strap that Z06 to the dyno and get some baseline numbers. We've done baseline in our C6 Z06 here, and as you can see, we have a pretty strong baseline of 540 rear wheel horsepower and 485 rear wheel torque. Pretty strong numbers. Now let's go ahead and install the fast LSXR intake, and while we're doing that, let's check out the details of this intake manifold. The LSXR 102mm intake shown here is designed for LS7 engines. However, a version for LS3 and L92 engines is also available. It is a composite moulded three-piece design that is far superior to ported stock intakes. Fast engineers optimise the intake's port design, length and volume while increasing the plenum size, all with the goal of increasing power and RPM capability without killing low-end torque. The inlet of the intake has been enlarged to 102mm, so you can install a big mouth throttle body or use your stock throttle body. Fast included integrated nitrous bunks here on each runner so you can plumb up a nitrous fogger kit. Finally, the runners are removable, so if you're building a serious race engine, you can port the plenum as well as the runners. Installation was simple and straightforward. You should plan several hours for the swap, but no special tools are required. Just a socket set and a fuel line disconnect tool. You don't even need to retune your computer, although for maximum horsepower, it's highly recommended. The guys at Cunningham were pros, and as you can see here, they have this upgrade down to a science. So overall, this baby is a bolt-on affair. The only thing you need to decide is what type of fuel rails and throttle body to use, because unlike the factory manifold, the LSXR requires that you use either the GM LS7 fuel rails with billet aluminum spacers, or these ones, the fast billet high-flow fuel rails that we went with. If you're planning on upping the power down the track, I'd go with the fast. As far as the throttle body is concerned, you can stay with the stock throttle body, or you can go with the 102 millimeter. Totally up to you. Now it's time to check out the dyno. After dynoing the fast LSXR manifold, we were impressed. We saw some generous torque increases and over 20 horsepower gained in the mid-range of the power curve. Great gains from an already good stock LS7 intake manifold. Peak increases were 18 foot-pounds of torque and 7 horsepower. After porting, engine builders report that the LSXR intake produces even better numbers. Not only did we pick up peak horsepower and torque, we didn't lose anything from the low end, and that's from a slightly modified Z06. So just imagine what you could do with a heavily modified engine. The only thing I need to do now is try and convince Ryan to let me head out for some high-speed tests. Sure, no problem. You don't mind? Not at all. Sweet. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this sucks. Yeah, 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 very funny, guys, ha-ha. At least this thing's got a turbo. 